Hey guys, what's up? Okay, I beat it. I beat this game last night. Dragon Age Origins, as you suggested uh, quite a while ago, that was like five months ago, I believe, when I did the um, video called Is Dragon Age Inquisition Overrated? In which I expressed my thoughts on the game, I had just beaten that game as well, and I told you all about it. And then in the comment section you all started suggesting this game, that it was better, that it was uh, much uh, a much better game than Inquisition. And um, well, here I am to report back to you and to tell you about this game, my experience, and how, if it's true, that it's better than Inquisition or not. Well, let me tell you something first. It's awesome! You guys were right, you guys were correct. This game is amazing. I loved it. I have a lot to say about it. I have some bad things to say about it, but mostly good things about it. The game was amazing. I loved the experience. So yes, you guys were right. So thank you very much for suggesting this game to me. I loved it and it was an amazing experience. Now, well, I guess I'll start with the negative points, the negative aspects of this game because the rest are just positive. There's more positive than negative here, fortunately. So I want to share with you guys my thoughts on this game. Well, there's only one big negative thing among others that are not that important. So I, I guess I'll start with the least important. Well, you gotta understand first that I, I first played Inquisition. Maybe that was a mistake because I love the battle system in Inquisition and this obviously feels like a downgrade. Although downgrade not, not, would not be the correct term to say because this was before, it was the first Dragon Age game ever. And in that regard, okay, it's excusable. The battle system was okay here. Uh, I had no trouble with it. Um, it has some flaws here and there, but nothing major to really complain about. But yeah, I preferred the battle system in Inquisition. That's all I wanted to say about that. Uh, the sound effects on the battle system kind of suck here. Uh, in, in Inquisition I really could feel uh, when I was doing some damage or receiving damage in here. Sometimes I was like, what's going on? But anyway, like I said, the battle system is okay. Nothing, no major complaints in there. Um, I guess other slightly negative point of this game is the fact that you the fact that you can't revive your characters like you did in Inquisition that was a, that was great in Inquisition every time somebody died you go with your character lay down and press a button and they just revive and come back to battle i love that in Inquisition because it was either that or to use potions to revive them which never happened in Inquisition. I never had any need to use a potion. I didn't even know, I mean, I don't even know if there was any potions to revive characters in, that, in Inquisition because I had no need. In here, the only way to revive your characters is with magic, with spirit magic, and I made a mistake of not teaching spirit magic to the only magician I used, which was Morrigan, and the other magician which did have spirit magic was Wine, but I, I actually... Never used it, never used her in, um, only in, in that mission in the, in the tower where she's, you gotta use, no, who use her no matter what. So um, that did bother me a little, but like I said, this game was before, it was the first game, so kinda has an excuse for those little flaws that I see. So anyways, the major complaint I have about this game, and no, it's not the loading times, which are actually atrocious as well as in Inquisition. Maybe because it's the PS3 version of Inquisition. You guys told me that the loading times are as bad as in the PlayStation 4 or the Xbox One version or PC version, but less, less annoying, less slow. And um, it's the same in Origins, but okay. I, that's another thing that I can't really complain about. I don't I don't really mind. It was annoying, yes, but I don't really mind. My major complaint with this game that almost made me through throw the controller against the TV was the lag. I can't believe how bad is the lag in this game. Around 60% of it. 
there was there were times in which I just went into inside a dungeon or a, uh, inside somewhere after a scene has had played and the game started lagging and no I'm pretty sure it's not my PlayStation 3 and it's not not my television no it's the game itself it lags like hell at some parts especially at the beginning of some battles I even lost disgracefully lost several easy battles that were easy as fuck and I lost them because of the lag my characters were slaughtered because I couldn't move properly or aim properly or whatever that's bullshit man in the credits I saw that around 20 or 30 people tested this game and I was like did they really test this game what the fuck man sorry about that I just have I had to let that out but I I really think that was really crappy almost it didn't or fortunately it didn't but almost ruined the entire experience for me okay thankfully I, I was playing on easy and I managed I managed to beat the game but I feel that if I had been playing this game on hard or normal I would have quit because of the lag maybe I'm over exaggerating but you gotta understand that I'm specifically complaining about the lag after some scenes where the battles immediately start after a scene or after you enter a place or, or you get out of one place especially if there's a lot of enemies coming at you for example in, in the final sequence, the final battles from the moment you, you start going you know where and defeating hordes of enemies from that point onward every time I I ended a scene or I walked to some place different it was the same situation I even saw the enemies from afar and everything was fine and once I approached uh, a certain distance the game would start lagging and I swear I don't think it's my PlayStation 3 or my television this is a major problem inside the game I don't know why uh, Bioware didn't fix this I have no idea why this happened and that's bullshit. I'm sorry, this is the PlayStation 3, not the PlayStation 1 or 2. I, I don't know, guys, that's bullshit in my opinion. But hey, let's go to the positive aspects now. Leaving all that aside, yes, the game is fucking amazing. The story in this game, I love it. I think it's slightly better than in Inquisition. I enjoy the story here a little better because I think in Inquisition it was great. And I'm sorry to keep c comparing these two games, but they're all Dragon, they're both Dragon Age games. And the fact that I'm doing this video was because you guys recommended this game in my Dragon Age Inquisition videos. It is. I'm going to keep com comparing them both. So I love the story. I love the character development. I love the characters. I really admire Bioware and the writers to on how great they are, how organized they are into creating these massive universes, these massive worlds, this massive lore that they they have already a bunch of um, <clears throat> sorry, a bunch of movies and a bunch of books based on Dragon Age universe. I think that's awesome. I could never do that. I am a writer and I don't think I could ever build an universe as gigantic as this with so many lore so much lore, so many characters, so many events involved, so many religions, so many races, I don't know. I had created things like this, like that before, but in a very uh, small scale compared to this. So I congratulate uh, Bioware because they rock into creating stories. They rock. This, this story was excellent. I wish, and I mean it, I wish we could have stories like this more often in JRPGs. I know they are, I know they are several amazing stories and amazing characters and lores in JRPGs. I love that, you, know, you guys already know that, but every once in a while, especially today with games today, with mainstream games today, I just wish more of them could have stories and character development as Dragon Age. So yeah, story-wise, this game is perfect. Graphics, I don't know, you guys know that I'm not I, I'm not the best guy to judge graphics. I'm, I, I don't I actually considered myself bad at judging grain a game for its graphics. So I don't know, I don't have any opinion on that. I was okay 
Sure, some of the art was often brown or dark or too dark or just gray and lack appeal, but I didn't care. I mean, I liked it. I was okay with the graphics and the art itself. And the music was okay, just like Inquisition, I think the music, some of the themes, for example, the, men the menu theme or the first ending theme, were great in both games. I love them, I love this singer. Her name is Audrey, Audrey, I don't know what, but she she sings really well. I like, I like the music, but this is something that I, I said as well in the Inquisition video, that the music could have been better, but I have no complaints about it. I was okay with the music, it's, it's cool. And um, last but not least, the gameplay. I already talked about the battle system, I loved it in Inquisition. I liked it here, but I think it's better in Inquisition. But the gameplay itself, it's not the same. I'm not sure if this is an open world game. I didn't feel it that way because I was locked in just one map the entire game. And every time I moved to one place to another, I had, I had to go through this map. And there were sometimes random encounters. I thought that was cool, actually. That didn't happen in Inquisition. I thought that was interesting to have these random encounters. I don't know why they did this, but... That was cool. The, th the thing is that Dragon Age Inquisition really feels like an open world game and this one does not. If this is an open world, maybe in a smaller scale, you guys let me know. I don't know, but it didn't feel like that, but I am not saying this in a negative way. I actually like that. I am not really fond of open world games, even though I, have, I enjoyed the heck out of Dragon Age Inquisition. But this one, I loved it as well and I thought not having an open world was okay. I mean, I was fine with that, so I, I love that part of it. Now, the quest system and all that jazz was unlike Inquisition, I think it was better because in Inquisition the game forces you to do certain kinds of quests or certain number of quests to continue on with the game, with the main quest. I didn't like that and I think I complained about that in that video, but with this game that doesn't happen. You can just play the game straight forward of course, it's better to do some of the quests to level up your characters, get better weapons, armors, items, and all that jazz, of course. But the game doesn't force you to do that. It just has its linear story and it goes on as long as you, as long as you go along with it. I like that. So, gameplay-wise, I think this game is slightly better than Inquisition. But if we include the battle system, which I've already talked about, I think it's better in Inquisition, just for the fact that the sound effects made me feel like I was really doing some damage and receiving damage, and just for the fact that you could revive your characters, your fallen characters. That was awesome in Inquisition. It had its own penalty, which I liked as well. Sometimes you needed to distract the enemy with your other characters in order for you to go and revive them with your main character, and in here, well, I already said that. I didn't like that about this game. So um, that's it. Those are my thoughts on this game, it's awesome! I really I really appreciate the fact that you guys took the time to try to convince me in that video several months ago to play this, until I finally did. And I want to thank Mike, Mike Elheny, to for, for donating to the cause, because it was thanks to his patronage in Patreon.com that I managed to buy this game. And I'm really thankful for that. Thanks to you guys as well, because I wouldn't have touched this game if it wasn't for you, because I played Dragon Age 2, that was the first Dragon Age that I played, and that was years ago, and I hated it. Well, not hated it, I didn't like Dragon Age 2 back then, and that game kind of turned me away from the series, and when I beat Inquisition, I was like, okay, I beat this game, I loved it, but I don't think I want to play Origins, because it, it was before, so I was pretty sure it was going to be like a downgraded version, a bad version. You know what, but you guys talked me out of that and convinced me and here I am making this video and thanking you for recommending Dragon Age Origins to me. It was awesome, amazing game, and now I have to recommend this game to every single guy out there, every single gamer who hasn't played this. Play it, it's awesome, you won't regret it. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and share this video with your friends. See you next time.